This video is the fourth of a series about outside micrometers. It covers making adjustments to ensure accuracy, proper care and maintenance of the tool. With periodic adjustment and calibration, proper care and attention to detail, you can depend upon a high quality micrometer to provide close tolerance measurement with exceptional accuracy for many years. To adjust zero reading, first clean the measuring faces, then close until the spindle contacts the anvil. If the zero on the thimble does not line up with the center line of the sleeve, insert the spanner wrench into the small slot of the sleeve and carefully turn until they align. Micrometers with ranges larger than 0 to 1 inch or 0 to 25 millimeters include a master to verify accuracy. For instance, the master for a 1 to 2 inch micrometer is precisely 1 inch in length. Check to ensure for a zero reading. Adjust as necessary. For close tolerance measurements, verify that the micrometer is accurate at the value to be measured. If the specification on a flat part calls for 200 thousandths with a tolerance of plus zero, minus two ten thousandths, measure a 200 thousandths gauge block to verify that reading is correct at that size. Because of the difference in contact area, a cylindrical standard such as a gauge pin should be used as a master for precise measurements of cylindrical parts. The micrometer spindle's nut should occasionally be tightened. First, back off the thimble, insert the spanner wrench in the slot of the adjusting nut and tighten just enough to eliminate play. Be careful not to touch the lock nut during this procedure. Occasionally put a drop of precision instrument oil on the spindle and threads. Periodic calibration will ensure that your tool maintains its accuracy. It is good practice to wipe the micrometer clean before putting it away. But never use an air hose and protect your micrometer by storing it in its case. 